everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we will be reviewing the GHD Helio Dryer. So a little life update for you guys, I actually have returned to work now after all the coronavirus shenanigans have gone on. So the 4th of July I actually went back to work, so by the time you're watching this I will have done my first full week at work. It was pretty difficult to get used to the face shield that we have to wear and the uh, PPE, the masks and everything else. And uh, remember to sanitize everything. I really have to remember to do everything I've touched. But I mean, it was great to see all my clients again and I can't wait to see even more throughout the next few months. Before we get into this video, guys, I am so close to 500 subscribers right now. And I would love, love, love if you could just scroll down and click subscribe for me. It would mean the absolute world. So because I have been back at work also, I have been able to put my new hairdryer to the test. I actually got this hairdryer just before we went into lockdown and didn't get the chance to use it on any clients, unfortunately. So for the meantime, I have been only using it on myself and my relatives and family and stuff. But now that I get to test it on so many different types of hair, it really is putting it to the test. So today's review is gonna be super honest. All the things that I like and potentially don't like about the dryer, I will be revealing to you guys. It is beautiful. GHD. I can't remember, if anyone wants to correct me, feel free because I can never pronounce it right. But here is my new GHD dryer. This is actually the first GHD dryer that I have owned. So I've tested out the GHD Air and Aurora before, if I've got their names right as well. <laughs> I'm not very good at names, as you can probably tell. This dryer is probably one of my favorite I've ever owned. So first let's get on to the aesthetics of the actual dryer. Now this dryer comes in five different colors, I believe. So there is a black, there is a white with a rose gold, there is a maroony kind of plum color that has gold finishings on it. There is a dark navy blue that has kind of like tinted platinum finish to it. And then they also have brought out a special edition recently, which is like a baby blue color. And it is so, so nice. Now, when I look for dryers, I really look for something that's gonna be really suited to my salon life. So because I'm using a dryer so often and so regularly, my upper body strength, as you can probably tell, I haven't got much bicep on me. So I need something that's gonna be super, super light and not gonna weigh me down throughout the day or even an hour in. So this, I can say, passes the test on that one. It is super lightweight. I think it's actually potentially the lightest one that GHD have actually made. Don't hold me to that, but I think it is. I will double check on Google in a minute. But it is definitely, definitely light enough and super, super easy to move around in your arm. It feels really nice in your hand. You don't feel like you're stretching and pulling your muscles when you're trying to get to awkward places in your hair. Now, I went for the black color purely because everything else in my kit bag is black. I like to stick to a colour scheme and make everything match, I'm not really a mismatched person. However, looking back, any of these colours I would gladly have. The white and the rose gold is personally my favourite also, it's a bit more vibrant. If anyone knows me, they know I love pink and I think copper, so a bit of rose gold in there is very, very darty. And I like that they've actually done other colours other than black and white because some companies will, as you all probably know, I bet mean, a lot of you at home have either got a black or a silver or a white dryer and they play it quite safe with colours, whereas GHD this time have really pushed the boat out and got really, really creative with those colours. Now this dryer has some awesome features on it, but I cannot remember them off the top of my head, so let me grab my laptop. So I'm actually on the GHD website now, and these retail for £159. Now, it might seem a little bit pricey for you guys, but what I'd always say with electricals is you get what you pay for. If you go cheap, not saying this will always happen, and touch when it does it for you, but they could potentially, you know, explode, or you could have a real disaster with them. They may not last as long. I'm sure that the warranty won't be as long as, say, a well-known brand as GHD. So, I mean, that's something for you guys to explore at home, but for me, I would always go with a trusted, recommended brand, and like I said before, you get what you pay for. So it's worth investing that little bit more money to get the better and the better quality experience. So, it has a five star. Great, great start. But it says, longer life, a brushless motor to deliver 120 kilometers, are these kilometers? An hour of airflow for a quick salon worthy blow dry. That sounds good to me. I don't know how to say this word, so bear with me. There's a lot of technical words in this that I don't know how to say. Aerospresis technology enables an intuitive styling with more precise control. 
variable power and temperature controls, including a cool shot, lighter in weight due to the ergonomically balanced design, like we said before, bespoke acoustic system, technology ensuring a low sound levels while you style. For me, this is great because for so, so long when I was first beginning, I found it so hard to communicate with my clients when I have my dryer on and you will always know the feeling, you hairdressers out there will get me and relate to me on this level. But when you ask someone three times, you feel like you can't ask again. So you do have to sometimes end up just going, yeah. <laughs> and pretending like you understand what they say because Oh, when a dryer's loud, it's just the bane of my life. You know, I just want to get on with my day. I want to make my clients feel good. I don't want to feel like they're, that I'm not listening to them or I can't hear them properly and irritating them with asking them more than three times about what they've just said. It also said it drastically cuts blow dry time. So you guys won't spend as long with blow drying your hair. You won't feel like your arm's about to drop off by the time you're done. Uh, it says three meter power cable, which is great. It weighs 0.78 kilograms, which is less than a bag of sugar. So, you know, amazing. Um, it says buy with confidence. It comes with a two year manufacturer's guarantee and it has secure online payments if you don't go to a salon to buy this. So if you do get off GHD, you're covered. Um, the price includes one hairdryer, one professionally designed nozzle. And before I actually did this video, I have just quickly looked online, but they are actually doing a diffuser for these dryers now and they didn't before. So that is new brought out and they have six pounds off it. So if you do need a diffuser and you have one of these dryers already and you were looking for one, go and click the link in my description and it will take you straight there. So let me show you a few features on this dryer. It actually has a detachable nozzle, which is great for smoothing out hair. If you blow dry your hair without a nozzle, that's fine by you, but you are more likely to get frizz through the airflow that's created through the circle as opposed to the nozzle, which will be nice and smooth for you. So always get a dryer with a nozzle would be my recommendation too. So that can just pop back on like that. And then in the back of the dryer, we come to the air filter. Now for me, on my old dryer, my the holes that you see in this grid were a lot bigger which meant it gathered a lot more dust intake into the dryer as opposed to stopping it and blocking it out, which is actually what the purpose of this is. So you do have to clean it more often on the old dryer, but what I like about this one is because the holes are smaller, it means that I won't be spending more time cleaning my filter out and it potentially, if I don't clean the dryer out, it basically burns your hair and it will blow up. So, you know, that's a good little saver as well, so I won't have to be cleaning it as much. Um, it comes with a lovely silver finish around that air filter too, so it looks really sleek and stylish. And then we come on to the dials. So this is the heat dial, so you've got the maximum heat, a medium heat, and the cool shot. And then this is the power, so you can see the two dots here will be maximum power, the single dot will be medium, and the circle will be completely off. Now we come to this little rubber strap here also. This is more for hairstylists or if you have hooks at home that you clip your dryers onto. This is a lifesaver because it means that you won't have to put the dryer on the floor for it to get potentially damaged. You just hook it on to the blow dryer holder and you won't have to worry about anybody stepping on it, potentially get burning someone else, you know, getting in the way and tripping over or any potential hazard that it might cause on the floor. Now, obviously, like I said before, it comes with three meter cable, which is great too. And what I love about this is it doesn't tangle that easily. On my old dryer, I found that every time I wrapped the wire around the dryer to tidy it up and make it durable to travel, I would find I come back and unravel it to about four knots in the wire. Don't get me wrong, it has one or two sometimes, but not always as much. So it means I spend less time faffing. Out of 10, I would give this dryer a solid 9.5. Like I said before, this is definitely my favorite dryer out of the four that I have had throughout my career so far. So GHD, thank you for making this dry. You have changed my blow drying days forever. I can't wait to use it more on my lovely clients as we go throughout the next months in lockdown. I'm sure that I will be very, very busy. I've seen my book and I'm back to back every day for the next few weeks so definitely we'll put this baby to the test if you've decided throughout this video or decided before watching this video that you would like to purchase a ghd helios i will leave a link down below so you can get your hands on this dryer and if you have enjoyed this video guys you know what to do like and subscribe that is it guys i hope you've enjoyed my review on the ghd helios i will see you next week with a brand new video